slow, massive, surprisingly gentle. The largest of living fishes, whale sharks can reach 30 feet in length and may grow considerably larger. But they aren't monsters, more like gentle giants feeding on plankton and small fish. Off the coast of Mexico, they've become superstars of the tourist trade. Visitors come from all over for a chance to swim with these sharks. And now they're getting a chance to help in the conservation of the fish as well. There isn't anything more fabulous than diving with these gentle giants and getting to be right next to them. And you look into these soft, sweet eyes and knowing that you could maybe play a part in helping conserve these creatures for the future. Marla Downer on vacation in Baja, Mexico, and other amateur divers are part of a unique program to identify and monitor whale sharks. It was created by National Geographic Emerging Explorer Brad Norman of Murdoch University, Western Australia. Tourists, amateur divers, and researchers from around the world send him photographs of whale sharks they've encountered. He uses the photos to identify individuals with computer recognition software. Whale sharks are covered with spots, each with its own unique pattern. Like fingerprints, no two are alike. We use an, an algorithm that's been adapted from what NASA space scientists use in the Hubble Space Telescope. And it actually maps the stars uh, in the night sky, but we map the spots on the skin of the shark. And then we run a scan and compare that photo against the patterning of all the other thousands of photos. It's really great um, technology that's been taken from, from space and been used on a, on a conservation monitoring project. Whale sharks are a threatened species and their numbers are on the decline, most likely because of overfishing. But conservationists say it's hard to protect the species because their migration routes are a mystery. The photo ID program will help scientists determine where whale sharks feed and breed. Using the photo identification program, we can work out if, uh, if we're seeing the same sharks or in fact there's uh, new sharks coming into an area where uh, whale sharks are seen. Brad believes his program has been successful in part because whale sharks seem to gravitate toward the same beautiful tropical waters that also draw tourists. It's a great uh, new concept, really. It's a way of getting uh, people involved in research. We like to think of it as citizen science. You can be a tourist or just a member of the general public. You can help us identify individual whale sharks around the globe, and uh, from that we can understand more about their numbers and their movements worldwide. So far, hundreds of people have sent Brad their vacation photos from almost 40 different countries allowing him to identify the whereabouts of a thousand whale sharks. And the number of submissions is increasing as word of the program spreads among divers. Many believe ecotourism may help save the whale shark, not only because tourists are helping researchers, but also because their enthusiasm is creating an economic incentive to protect the fish. The income from the whale watching tours is 20 times bigger than what they get from the fishing. It's a resource that is, is there forever. Uh, the amount of money that, that the tourism bring and what they spend in lodging, in food, in tours, they, it cannot compare to the, to the fishing. Getting amateurs to help scientists create a global community with a common goal of conservation that's why Brad Norman has been named one of National Geographic's emerging explorers with his innovative program. Vacation photos might just help save a species.